Answer is C on this one. Number three. Answer on this one should have been D. Last one. Answer on that one should be C. Pick a number from 1 to 20. The winning numbers today are 2, 4, 8, 11, 17. You have a test tomorrow and it'll cover everything we've done with matrices from adding, subtracting, multiplying, finding unknowns, different dimensions. Today we'll go back through some unknowns. Example 1. So if I'm looking for X first, I have to use this row and what column in the second matrix? Yes, so I would use this row and then this column. So if I'm using this row and this column, what does it pertain to in the last one? Second one. Yeah, it'll be the second one. So if we're going to multiply this by this to come up with this, I would have x times 5 for 5x, and then plus 3 times 2 for 6, and set that equal to 16. So 5x equals 16 minus 6. That'll be 10. x should be 2. Any questions on how we came up with x? All right. Well, I'm looking for Y now, and Y is right here. So I have to use that column, and I'll use this second row here in the first matrix. If I'm using this and this, what does it pertain to in the last one? 52, yes. So I would do 4 times 7 to get 28, and then 6 times Y, and set it equal to 52. So that's 6y equals 52 minus 28, which would be 24. y would end up being 4. So I have 2 and 4. Try this one. For the uh, x value, we can go here, here, and set it equal to this to come up with 6 plus 6x equals negative 30. So that's 6x equals negative 30 minus 6, which is negative 36. So x would be negative 6. For the y, we can do this and this. Set it equal to 11 to get 4y plus 15 equals 11. So 11 minus 15 is going to give me a negative 4. So you should have negative 1. Negative 1, negative 6. For this problem, we can go here, here, and here for the x to come up with 36 plus 20, not 20, but 5. 5x equals 26. Well, if you just look at it, 36 plus something has to be 26, so this has got to be a negative 10. So the answer is negative 2. And for the y, we have to go here, here, and here to come up with a negative y plus 9 equals 15. So negative y would have to equal 15 minus 9, which is going to be 6. y would be a negative 6. Negative 2, negative 6. Yes, for Pemberton, yes, Porter, got them both. And Blake, yeah. And Howard. 
Lewis. You get them both? One. Oh, you got one. All right, any questions on that problem? Okay, give On this one, we'll go here, here, and here to come up with a negative 7 plus 3x equals a negative 1. So that would be 3x equals negative 1 plus 7. That's going to be a 6. So you'll come up with a 2. And then for the y, you can go here, here, and then here. That'll give you 15 minus 4y equals 39. So if I'm going to subtract something from 15 to end up higher, it's got to be a negative. So what I'm looking at is a negative 24. So if this is a negative 24, then this would have to be a negative 6. Well, I've made a mistake here because this, I thought this part of the bracket was a negative sign. So we'll have to go back and fix that. So that should be plus. We can eliminate that and that. So if you do that, it would have to be plus 24. It would be a positive 6. This is an example. You start with the first row and multiply it against that first column. And you'll have the 2 times negative 1 plus... 3 times 6 and come up with a negative 2 plus 18 which is 16 and then stick with that row but move to the other column and do 2 times 2 plus 3 times a negative 4 so that's 4 minus 12 which is a negative 8 and remember where they go it's the same way that you multiply them row 1 column 1 and then column two. So you're going to skip down to this row and do the same thing with those two columns. So there you would end up with negative four times two and then plus two times a negative four. That would be negative eight plus negative eight and negative sixteen. And then move to this column here but still use this row. That's negative four times I already did the second column, didn't I? I did this and this. That should be over here. That's my fault. And then I can go back and do column 1 now. That's negative 4 times negative 1 plus 2 times 6. So that's 4 plus 12. Now that would be a positive 16. Try this one and bring it up. It is 2, negative 4, 11, 3, and you're going to multiply that against negative 1, 2, 0, negative 4. On the practice problem, multiply here first, and we'll put it in the matrix. That is 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2, but from here to here, you get a 0, so it's just negative 2. And then now go to this column, still with the first row. 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. 4 plus 16 is 20. Now we're going to move down to this row and go to this column. 11 times negative 1 is negative 11, but you have 3 and 0. So it's still negative 11. Still with this row, but now with this column, 11 times 2 is 22, and 3 times a negative 4 is negative 12, so you'll get a 10. On this problem, you have to start with this row and multiply it by this column. So you're looking at 2 times 2, 6 times 6, and 3 times 5. That would give you 4 plus 36 plus 15. That would be 55. 4 plus 36 plus 15 is 55, and that's row 1, column 1, so you put it in this spot. Ooh, that's a little, little close. I'll have to squeeze in the next number. 
But uh, here you stay with that row and go to 2 times 4, 6 times 3, and 3 times 2. Hurry up, don't burn. Uh, and that's a fire drill. And there's the final answer after the fire drill.